This is Heather, and she has a list of over 50 requirements that she expects her boyfriend to have. Now, many of the women in the audience laugh at her during this segment, but I imagine that if they were asked about their requirements, they would have a list very similar in length. Despite her low value, Heather expects to get her perfect 10 out of 10 guy who can meet all 50 or more of her requirements, and she wonders why she's single. Just for comparison, I bet I can sum up what most men want in just three things. She must be attractive, she can't be a bitch, and she must be a good housewife. By the way, there are guys out there who will date all types of physical appearances, so this is really mostly an issue of personality. As for Heather, let's calculate some numbers. She wants a 10 out of 10 guy, and for the sake of argument, let's start her off as if she were a 10. Something that is immediately noticeable is that Heather has crazy eyes, and that takes off at least two points. Now she's an eight. I don't know her age, but she looks very close to 30, and that knocks another point off her score. In her requirements, she says that a man cannot be against sweets because she owns a dessert business, and he must love food. Why are those requirements? Because she needs an excuse to get fat. Get fat. Already looks like she's gained weight and is trying to hide it. Her dress is not form fitting and it has a seam at her belly button which forces the fat rules down so that she doesn't get a muffin top. Be aware that women have all kinds of tricks to hide how fat they are. The key giveaway is the size of her arms. That right there knocks off a minimum of one point, probably more in the future. And now she's a six. Last, she has a frosting business, which means that either she is going to be gone all the time so the kids in the home aren't going to be taken care of, or she's going to expect you to dole out the cash and float her failing business. That's minus two points. So she wants a guy who is a 10 out of 10 when she at best is a four. Guys, let, let me get one of the pillars over here. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see. Must be adventurous, must be humble, must be spontaneous, must be a planner, can't be self-centered, can't be cocky, must love dogs, can't own a dog from a breeder, can't be jealous of her dog, and can't own a cat. The hell, what? <laughs> Heather wants her man to be spontaneous and unpredictable. How is he supposed to do that when she has micromanaged him down to the exact person he has to be? There's no room for surprises because he might ruin the relationship by admitting that his favorite season is fall. I'm the founder and CEO of my own frosting company. Wow, look at those titles. Founder and chief executive officer. Why? Because you're the only employee? I can't imagine working for a control freak like her where everything about a person needs to be to her liking down to the exact detail. Look at this. She has four different rules on dogs. He has to be a dog lover, but he can only adopt shelter dogs? Geez, you're like a vegan who attacks other vegans for not being vegan enough. People who are being managed hate it when you give them 30 different things to do. All that's going to assure is that nothing is going to get done. By comparison, she has more rules specifically about dogs than most men do about the entire relationship. Is this what women consider healthy? The way you actually manage people, and this goes for everyone, is to keep rules simple, but to pick rules that are important enough to encompass multiple things. So when a man says he wants a woman that's attractive, what does attractive mean? I can tell you from me that it means she can't be fat, she can't have tattoos, she can't have any weird piercings. What does it mean to be a good housewife? It means she has to be home. It means she has to be able to cook. It means... of your dog. So the last guy I dated, he admitted after a few months that he was jealous of my dog and he was kind of mean to my dog in the beginning. And he said that I gave my dog more attention than I gave to him. Did you? Well, <laughs> I mean, my dog never fought with me. Your dog doesn't fight with you? 
because if it does, you won't feed it. That's clearly what she wants, a slave, and that's why men are kicking her to the curb. If she wanted a real relationship like she claims she does, then the question she should be asking is, what did I do to make him jealous of my dog? But instead, she blames him for the wrongdoing and just adds another thing to the list. Why exactly is this woman a catch? See, if you're looking for a guy with all of that, yeah. I don't know that he exists. No, no, he's got to exist. You okay. don't think so? Looks like she's planning a future with a lot of dogs. Let's get to the second example. And it's more pathetic than the first. Y'all, this is my question. I am a single mom. I have a full-time career. I work very hard, very responsible. A single mother. And she calls herself responsible. I wouldn't say that, but okay. But I get the typical blonde, big boobs, tattoos. That's how guys kind of see me. And, you know, I have a really huge personality, like really big. Sometimes it's like, uh, my mom's like, you need a filter. But that's just how I am. Right. A huge personality. Maybe it's just me. But I've noticed this behavior a lot in women. Women love to display their negative traits as a positive. I have a huge personality and that's just the way I am. I'm really honest. Bitch. Um, but I guess my main thing is, you know, like I'm seriously almost done with dating. It's like four years. I have not had a date. I have never had a guy pick me up from my house and take me on a date in my entire life, ever. What's your address? <laughs> I'll let's go. I mean, it's a simple, but keep going, keep going. So I guess like my main thing is, is so like, like why is it men can't get past the exterior? Because I mean, I, I have a lot to offer. I am funny as hell. I mean, really, <laughs> I'm funny. The whole premise of this segment is that she, as a woman who has not had a date in four years, is saying, that men only want her because she's attractive. She's blonde, has big boobs, and has tattoos. First of all, most men don't find tattoos attractive. Second, have you stepped on a scale recently? Third, have you looked at your birth certificate recently? This chick looks like she's almost 40 and is borderline obese. Men don't care if women are funny. That's something that women care about. If you haven't realized that, and you haven't realized that being a single mother is a huge negative, that it means you don't care about what men want. The reason you can't attract a man is because you aren't a good partner. No one has ever come to your house and picked you up. No. That's your fault. Because you, listen to me, you gotta have some type of requirements and standards. If you can't come get me and pick me up, you can't have me. The reason you're not getting invited out on dates is because you won't create the persona that you're special. You just won't appear special enough because you're so busy being funny as hell. So busy being this light to the world. Come on, Steve. She knows that if she has those standards, all the guys are going to pass because she doesn't have very much value as a 40 year old overweight tattooed single mother. When you don't have a lot of value, you can't make demands. Her having high standards is like, no wage, boys, I don't like getting paid no wage. If I only pay $50 an hour, then I'm not work here. Okay, you're fired. You aren't worth $50 an hour. That's what she wants. She wants a six-hour girl. But that's all she can do is get a shirt on for a 20-year-old guy who works at McDonald's. It's not like she was born that way. From how she describes herself, she was probably born attractive and then became unattractive through bad decisions that she states she is not willing to change. She's not willing to change her huge personality that turns people off, and very likely, she is not willing to lose weight. The reality is that she probably had many chances to land a guy that she says she wants, but squandered it by being high maintenance and only offering sex as a point of value. Women who do this, this is your future. Notice how she didn't state that she could cook or she was willing to take care of kids or anything else men value outside of physical attractiveness. Don't be surprised that men only want you for your looks when that's all you bring to the table. However, she seems to just want to blame men instead of fixing her defects. These two women from these segments aren't looking to change. They are looking for someone to validate their bad behavior. In terms of the first girl, Heather, 
you can tell by her body language that her dream was to go onto the Steve Harvey show, write out her list of 100 rules a guy has to follow to be in a relationship with her, and then have Steve say, Oh my God, these guys are just ridiculous. You don't have high standards. You just know exactly what you want. You have so much to offer. You're a businesswoman. You're strong and intelligent. You can have any man you want. That is exactly what she wants. 